Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am your host, The Nightwalker, and this is my channel, Horror Heaven 77. And now we're back with this week's Hunting for Horror. And um, yeah, um, it's not really the biggest haul I've ever done, but uh, we got some good quality stuff here. I was going through the library here the other day and I started noticing, it's like, you know, I got romantic comedies I'm never going to watch. I got westerns I'm never going to watch. War movies I'm never going to watch. Stuff like that. Um, you know, so it's like, yeah, I mean, pretty much my overall passion is horror and, you know, like spoof comedies. And so I would probably have to say probably like out of my number one, uh, amount of movies that I have in my collection is obviously horror films, but, um, you know, the second amount, it would be probably like spoofs, parodies, movies like Airplane and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, we got two free digital codes. So, you know, if you please stick around and Wait till the end of the video. You might get a couple of free movies. So we got something good here. So but anyway, so yeah, probably like number one would be, you know, horror films. And then number two would be like spoof comedy films, movies like Airplane, Naked Gun, you know, all those movies a lot of people hate, but I can't help it. I can't get enough of them. Anyway, so yeah, so I took a, so I kind of cleansed some of the, kind of cleansed down some of the collection here and here too. So Let's go ahead and uh, trade it in, Got trade that stuff in, got some good stuff. I got another stack already for next week. So anyway, enough rambling. I kept talking too long. Let's get started. Okay, so we got a couple of neat little, uh, you know, got a couple of neat little collectibles here. I went back to Zia Records and I'm starting to become one of my favorite places. Just right now, it's funny because like around here, the um, the pawn shops, sometimes you go to the pawn shops, you hit really big. You can get a lot of like the... You know, like the ten dollar uh, DVD tiles that they have at Walmart, you can get them at like a pawn shop for like a dollar fifty cents, seventy five cents, something like that. Um, sometimes you hit there real big, and then sometimes you know you have dry spells where you go there, you don't get anything. And it seems kind of like right now we're kind of hitting into the dry spell area. So, so yeah, so I've been kind of more going to like um, places like Bookman's in Tucson, Arizona, places like Bookman's and Zia Records and stuff like that. I've been finding some stuff there. Trading stuff in, getting stuff for discounts. So got some good stuff here. I got a couple of collectibles. So I got the, uh, if you've seen in previous videos, I got the uh, the cold can coolers for Jason, Michael, Freddy, Leatherface, Pinhead, and the Crypt Keeper. And so now we get to add Toxie. This is cool. Finally got the can cooler holder for the Toxic Avenger. On the back there, you got kind of like the biohazard sign there you go so now i can add toxie to my collection so that's cool happy to have that and um if there are any other ones there i don't know those are the only ones that, these six are the only ones i've seen so if they got like a chucky a leather face ghost face i don't know i haven't seen those yet maybe someday but now i got some more of these collectible air fresheners i've i've showed some of those off in previous videos the only ones they got a selection of them i need to get going on collecting some of these the only ones i've gotten so far is sam from trick-or-treat and uh leatherface from texas chainsaw massacre obviously i had to go ahead and grab this one especially since unfortunately you know us horror fans you know really really hit a we got a great loss we got dealt a great blow when we lo when we you know lost sid Haig. and uh you know everybody knows captain spaulding from the rob zombie movies he's cult actor he's been around for decades and decades um, doing movies, Pam Greer, all this work with Quentin Tarantino, all this stuff, you know? So, so yeah, I mean, it's tragic, you know, that he's gone now and, and, uh, you know, you know, rest in peace, Sid, and, you know, hopefully, you know, and, uh, he's, he's going to be missed, you know, us horror fans, we really love him. So but anyway, so yeah, I had to go ahead and grab this one. I got the Captain Spaulding House of a Thousand Corpses freshener. Funny, apparently Captain Spaulding smells like strawberries. Didn't know that, but. You wouldn't think it, you know, you go back and watch House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, you know, I can't wait to watch Three from Hell. I've already got my 4K uh, pre-ordered from that one. And unfortunately, yeah, hang on, I'll get to the 4K in a minute, but, um, but yeah, I just figured, you know, I got to have this one. It's like, you know, Captain Spaulding, yeah, I got to do that. Rest in peace, Sid Hay. And then I figure I'd go ahead and continue on with the clown motif. We got Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story. From Freak Show, and he's popped up another, became a very 
very popular character on the show and very, very creepy. John Carroll Lynch does a great job playing this character. Very, very frightening and menacing character. So does a good job. So yeah, I figured, you know, come on, you know, two of the most evil clowns you could ever possibly imagine. So yeah, I had to do that. So anyway, yeah, like I said, you know, as I was going to get back to talking about 4Ks. Unfortunately, like right now, no really good uh, 4K hits this week, um, but, you know, we got some really good stuff coming out. Like I said, I got three from hell. I got that one. Um, I got that one reserved on 4K, and uh, The Shining is coming out on 4K. Shining is absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. It's the movie that introduced me to Stephen King. So, yeah, so I actually have a absolute love and passion for that movie. So, of course, I'm going to want that one on 4K. So, can't wait to get that. But, anyway, we got uh, we got a few Blu-rays and we got several DVDs. So let's go ahead and get started. So anyway, first off I got South Park. This is seasons 16 through 20 okay, on Blu-ray. I have these on DVD already, but I wanted to upgrade these because, you know, these, these um, cases are so compact and they help. And, you know, um, it's easier than having to go out and buy all of them on DVD over again. Plus I don't see, I'm surprised. I really didn't think these would look any better on Blu-ray. I'm shocked. These actually do look really, really good on Blu-ray. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade them. And like I said, it takes up less space. You know, I can have the, the cases back and everything else. Fortunately, the slip cover is the same as the yard work, but I got 16 through 20. And I got seasons 11 through 15. So the same thing here. And, you know, somebody might be wondering, it's like, well, you know, if you're all into horror and all this stuff, why would you get South Park? It's like, dude, South Park is the easiest thing in the world to explain because I I don't believe it's on my old channel anymore, but I did do a video on my old channel where I uh, talked about South Park. And I talked about how if you love horror films, if you have a love of the horror genre and things like that, then South Park is a perfect show for you to watch because it's, it pokes fun at the horror genre, but it definitely embraces it. And if you honestly go look at South Park, a lot of these shows, a lot of these episodes, it's almost like every other episode has almost some kind of horror element to it or horror theme to it. I mean, you know, they're doing like an episode where one episode they're, they're poking fun at Inception and they make a hero out of Freddy Krueger. Or, you know, they do, uh, they do like this trilogy, um, of episodes where, you know, it involves the HP Lovecraft mythology of the Necronomicon and Cthulhu and everything. Um, they do one where they spoof, uh, the human centipede, you know, um, of course everybody remembers Mecha Barber Streisand, you know, where they poke fun at the Godzilla franchise, uh, and on and on and on. And, and, you know, they, they do vampire episodes and they do zombie episodes. They do everything, you know? So it's like, seriously, you know, you could be, um, a horror lover, a horror aficionado, and you could love South Park because literally like almost every other episode has a horror theme to it. You know, you have like one episode, their Halloween episode where Randy pick, he, uh, you know, he takes over, a blockbuster video station and he it's like the shining you know he starts going mad and you know and there's elements of the shining in it and stuff like that so you could tell that even though they poke fun at the horror genre it's easy to see that that parker and stone actually are fans and they do embrace the genre and love it for what it is so yeah so south park yeah so and now i i already have like uh one through ten now i got 11 through 20 so I'm Happy to get that. So next up on the list, got this for, um, actually I got this for eight bucks. I got a Jaws poster that, you know, can't show you right now, but, um, yeah, but I ended up getting a little bit of store credit, $4 off. So altogether is about 20 bucks for both of this. So I got Amusement. This is a horror anthology, which I have seen before and it's, it's a pretty decent movie. I liked it. Um, yeah, it's like they had this there. I've been meaning to get this and I saw this for free on Voodoo and, and uh, didn't want to pick it up for my collection. And it might have been a dollar cheaper to get the DVD, but it's like, eh, shit. I have to admit, you know, it's like, oh, I do have to make a bit of a confession, though, because I've done this many times. I've, I went out and I bought stuff on DVD and said, you know, this is on DVD and that's fine for me. I don't need to, 
get it on Blu-ray and stuff like that. And I have to admit, you know, there are times I've been a total hypocrite. I admit it. I embrace it. You know, I can't lie about it. Um, there are stuff, there are times that, you know, because of lack of funds or whatever else, you know, it's like, I'll buy something on DVD and they're like, you know what, this is good enough. You know, as long as I have it, I don't need to buy it again. And then, you know, I'll turn right around and I'll go out and buy it. And you know, if I find the Blu-ray for a good price, like, oh, here's this on Blu-ray for like three bucks or something. Yeah, I'll definitely upgrade and stuff. So it's like, you know, I admit I've done that plenty of times and I probably will again. So, you know, so yeah, so I've got stuff here too. I'm already sitting here eyeballing like, you know, the stand, the stand just come out on Blu-ray. I definitely want to get, I want to upgrade that one, especially now that I found out there's bonus features on it and stuff. So, so anyway, so yeah, I could have went the cheap route and got this on DVD, but I admit, I, I admit I'm a little bit of a Blu-ray snob. I admit it. So, but anyway, so amusement, good little flick. Um, yeah, so happy to have this one finally on Blu-ray. So glad to get that. Like I said, good horror anthology. My check voodoo. You might still be able to watch it for free on there. Okay, uh, I got these three. Okay, with uh, trade-ins, I got all three of these. They were twenty four ninety nine each, but with the trade-ins, it amounted to um, so basically twenty five dollars each for the three of these, so seventy five dollars. And with the trade-ins and everything, I got forty eight dollars in store credit. So you know, so yeah, I paid like twenty seven dollars. So all three of these were about nine dollars each. So so. Kind of pay for it, but kind of got a discount on. So first one we got is from Severn. We got the Uncanny, and uh, they had some other ones there too. But it's like, oh man, I wanted this one because I've seen this movie before. It's a great Amicus horror anthology with Peter Cushing, and it's uh, stories about you know uh, killer cats and things. And I remember seeing this back in the day, being really impressed with it and very scared by it, and saying, you know, this is a this is a good little flick. So yeah. So, yeah, I do love, I really do want to build a good Amicus, um, you know, hor uh, Hammer Horror Collection, which, you know, we'll get into in a little bit. But anyway, though, so, yeah, the, the Uncanny, glad to finally get that on Blu-ray. Good movie. I can't wait to watch that again. We have, from Scream Factory, we have Scars of Dracula, which, you know, of course, you know, for the Dracula series, Hammer, Christopher Lee is Dracula, obviously. So, yeah, glad to finally get this one on blu-ray i remember back in the day when i had all the i was proud i had all the um the hammer dracula movies on vhs and then i put them in storage and you know i'm not going to explain everything because i don't want to blame somebody in particular but because he's no longer here to defend himself but you know let's just say my tapes got ruined and and uh yeah so but anyways finally just glad to finally get scars of dracula back and i've seen this movie before and this is when uh if i remember i think this is when uh Hammer started kind of really getting into the nudity and stuff. So anyway, though, glad to have that for the collection. And this one, finally, I've been meaning to get my hands on this for a long ass time. And I'm sure probably horror fans are probably like, you just getting that now? Oh my God. I've never had this until now, but now I finally got it. I can cross off my wish list. I've got Anthropophagus, which, you know, like I said, I'm pretty, I'm more than sure that there are horror fans out there who are probably looking at this right now going like you gotta be kidding me man you call yourself a horror fan you just barely now got anthropophagus it's like i'm sorry okay just you know i admit it i had other things on my mind so but anyway um finally i got it in my collection i'm really glad to have it and i know i've heard mixed things you know like some of the gore is really good and stuff like that we're like here where george eastman's eating his own guts and stuff but um but I've also heard that, too, this movie is kind of a slog to get through. And, you know, you got to kind of be in a particular mood to watch this. But uh, anyway, though, finally glad to, you know, for nine bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So, yeah, so finally glad to finally get Anthropophagus off my list. So I'm happy to have that. All right. Now that does it for the Blu-rays. And we only have three DVDs here, but, you know, three, I think, good ones. Now, this one is a, uh, I got this for Halloween. and. Okay, let me backtrack for a second. All right, if you ever watch my old channel, Cinema 77 Horror and Call Film Lover, I've done plenty of haul videos on there. And in many of those videos, I always explained that there was a period of time that, you know, I lived in a very small, confined space. And because of that, I had to give up a lot of, a lot of DVD cases and stuff like that because, you know, just the cases were too big and thick and bulky and stuff. And, um, 
you know, so I had to give them up. I had to take the discs out of the case and lose the artwork and put them in CD wallets and stuff like that just because I didn't have the space for them. Now, over time, I've been rebuilding this, and this is one of those. I got this because, you know, I've had this for years. It's, for me, a Halloween. This is absolutely, you know, for some people, it's like, you know, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, or whatever. And I Nightmare Before Christmas, I got to do those too. But this one here is definitely one for me. I have to do this every Halloween. This is just one of those ones I have to watch, and that is Bugs Bunny's Halloween special. This one is just, it's a must for me. I watch this every Halloween. I have ever since I was knee-high to a piss ant, and it's just the way I am. And I had the DVD for years, and I still watch it every Halloween, but, you know, I finally came across this. $1.99 It's like, yeah, I want to get it back just to get the case and the artwork back. And so now I have it. So there's the back there. But yeah, this one here, this is an absolute must for me every Halloween. No ifs, ands, or buts. I got to watch this one every single year. Just have to do it. So then we got this one for a dollar. These are two movies I didn't have on the Midnight uh, Movies collection. We got Yongari and Conga. You see there, it's like for a dollar, so I got those. And uh, yeah, obviously, you know, Godzilla, you know, uh, King Kong's, you know, rip off inspired type movies. So got to have those. So anyway, figure I'd check those out, you know, see if those are any good. And now I admit I'm a sucker for these. I got a bunch of these. If you look up here, you can see I got a bunch of them up here. This is one of those 50 movie uh, DVD collection. These are movies I've never heard of before. It's from uh, Pendulum Pictures and is called the Doom of Tomb of Terrors. Doom, the Tomb of Terrors. And as you can see, I got it for five ninety nine, and fifty movies here. Real quick, I name them off. We got uh, Aberdeen County Conjurer. We got Barely Legal Lesbian Vampire, Blood Legend, Capture the Flag, The Crucifer, The Cutting Room, Death from Beyond, Demon Sex, Devil's Moon, Disc Jockey, Flesh Eating Ghouls from Outer Space. From Venus, Gorno, Granny, Human Behavior, In Exchange, Jim Haggerty's The Slasher, uh, Kill the Scream Queen, Kill Them and Eat Them, Lifeblood, The Lunar Park, Massacre, The Night Owl, uh, Nightmare Museum, None Left Standing, Parasite, Pervos, Rape is a Circle, Reanimator Academy, Redneck County Fever, uh, Revenge of La Llorona, Rose of Death, Season in Hell, Shadow Hunters, Shower of Blood, Siege of Evil, Skygen, Sleep Disorder, So More Did Be, uh, The Somnambulists, Sorority Babes in the Danceathon of Death, uh, Soul of the Demon, Strange Things Happen at Sundown, Terror at Baxter U, Three Can Keep a Secret, To Become One, The Traveler, Unborn Sins, The Vulture's Eye, The Woodland Haunting 2. So, yeah, The Tomb of Terror's 50 movie pack. So for $5.99, if I gotta check that out. A lot of these I'm pretty sure are low budget or no budget movies, but never heard of them, so I thought I'd give them a shot. So anyway, so yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much gonna do it. You know, that's it for uh as far as the haul stuff goes. Not the biggest haul, but I think we definitely got some good quality stuff here. So we got that. That's for the DVDs. Okay. Got these for $27, $48 in store credits. So, so yeah, happy to finally get these into the collection. Okay. Got this one for four bucks. And the 10 seasons of South Park here. So happy to finally get those. Upgrade those to Blu-ray. Got Toxie here, which is cool. And of course, to finish off, we got the clown air, air fresheners. Rest in peace, Captain Spaulding and Twisty the Clown. So, uh, yeah, so now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. So we're going to do the two um, digital codes that we got this week. And um, yeah, these are two movies that I really don't feel I'm going to have a need for these. So hopefully, you know, same as always, it's first come, first serve. You know, if you get these, hopefully you enjoy this one is the movie Nerve with Emma Roberts. So there's the code right there. Hold that up for just a few seconds so you can get it. So yeah, so hopefully whoever gets this first, 
enjoy it, have fun with it. Uh, I think that might be long enough. Hopefully, if if not, you know, I'm sure you could probably pause it. And the uh, the final one we got here is the Heat, Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. So here you go. Here's that. Uh, hopefully, both these codes work. Everything is good. So anyway, that'll do it. Yes, sir. All right. Well, hopefully that should be long enough. Like I said, if it's not, hopefully you can uh, pause the video. So that's going to do it for this week's haul. And um, I'm happy with the stuff I got. You know, I'm, I'm, I think I did pretty well under the circumstances. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, there'll be weekly videos posted and, uh, yeah, you know, you know, thank you again for watching. I'm the night walker and, uh, you know, you might want to keep watch when you're out walking about, you might see me out at night sometimes. So be careful. See you later.